Welcome back. This is the second video of the beginner's guide on how to set up Ubuntu Linux. If you missed the first part, please click here to check it out. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install some of the famous editors, programming languages like Node.js, Python, and Java, and two IDEs. So let's begin. The two editors I use most frequently are Emacs and Sublime Text. To install Emacs, type in sudo apt install Emacs. And to install Sublime, use Flatpak search Sublime. Choose the version you like to install and use Flatpak install command. For the simplicity's sake, I'm installing an older version on Flatpak. But if you want to install the latest version, you can always follow the instruction on their official website. Go to your browser and search for Node.js. Go to their download page. Download the version you want to install. Extract the package. Move it to home folder. Change the name to however you like. Make sure you're under the home folder and use your favorite editor to open this file, .bash rc. Then go to the end of the file and type in these two lines, export node underscore home equals slash home, your username and the folder name, export path equals to dollar sign path colon dollar node home slash bin, save the file and exit, restart your console and check the npm version, also node version. To set up Python, go to terminal and type in sudo app install curl git. Open up browser, search for pyenv install. Go to this GitHub page, scroll down, copy this command, paste in the terminal. Copy these three lines. Use your favorite editor to open up .bashrc in your home directory again. Go to the end of the file and paste those commands in. Save the file and close. Go back to the wiki page again. Here, there's an installation wiki. Open it up. Click on this link. Copy this command for Ubuntu and paste in the terminal. Now we can install any Python version. Use the command pyenv install. The Python version can be managed by editing this file, .pyenv version. Put in the version number here, and then Python will be changed to this version. Now let's install Java. There are two ways of installing JDK on Ubuntu. The first and the simplest way is to use the apt package manager. You don't have to worry about anything as long as you just want to have one version on your system for the development work. And to do that, simply use the command apt search JDK. Pick any version you want and then sudo app install command. But for the development work, commonly I have multiple projects ongoing at the same time with different versions. So I tend to have the needs to switch from version to version in my development. For that, I'll have to use the binary packages from the Oracle website. Go to Oracle's website, pick your JDK version, download the correct compressed archive. You may need to log in in order to download this package. Go to download folder, extract the package, copy the root folder and paste it to a location you remember. Also, I'll change the name to something I can remember. At the end of the .bashrc file, add another line to specify the JDK directory and then add the bin file to the path. Let's verify the Java installation now. Let's install some IDEs now. First, VS Code. Again, I'm gonna use the Flatpak version. To install that, first we need to know the application ID. Flatpak search VS Code. I will use the proprietary version. Flatpak install. Confirm the installations. Installation is done. Let's verify it. There's a warning from Flatpak. We can directly close this window. I will install some extensions to verify the installation. and download the community version. Open up downloads folder, extract it here. Move the extracted folder to a place of your like and change the folder name. Right click in this folder and click on open in terminal. And we can now start IDEA using dot slash IDEA.sh. After the startup, let's create an application launcher. Click on options menu and click on create desktop entry. Click OK. 
Now if we close it and go to our application menu, IDEA should be available for us to start. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please let me know what is the reason for you to switch to Linux in the comment down below. And as always, if you think that this video is helping you daily driving a Linux distribution, please hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.